Thanks for tuning in. Today I have a really exciting Louis Vuitton haul and unboxing. As you can see, I have a few goodies from Louis Vuitton that I'm super excited about. I feel like my Louis Vuitton collection has significantly exploded this year and I 100% blame my boyfriend for that. <laughs> uh, he has totally influenced me with his interest in a lot of the cool collaborations that have come out and cool collections that have come out on the men's side. That has definitely piqued a lot more of my interest into the brand. Um, not that there was anything wrong with it before, I was just much more of a like Chanel and Hermes person. Um, and still am, but I'm definitely getting a lot more into Vuitton and adding some of those pieces. We are officially in fall as well, which is my favorite season of all. And so these are perfect for being nice and cozy at home and, and, and just enjoying time at home. So I am going to jump right into it. I'll start off with the smaller piece right here and this has a really awesome story that I will share after I reveal what's inside but it's in this little box and it opens up like this you'll see inside there's an item inside the dust bag I don't know if you can guess based on the dust bag but we shall see inside there is ta -da! It is the awesome bear pouch. It's pretty much a coin purse, I think, uh, from the LV Nigo collection. So it's the Louis Vuitton Squared collection. It's the collaboration with Nigo, who has founded Bape and also has another brand called Human Made. And that's why you'll see it says LV Made uh, along the top of the bear. The back side has the monogram, the signature monogram that came out as part of the collection. Uh, there's no, unfortunately, there's no ice cream drip on this one, but you know, uh, it's still pretty iconic for this collection. There's also a little clip at the top where the bear's head is at and it, this is so you can clip it onto like bigger bags. You can clip it onto your belt loop as well um, and it's to make it easier to find I think uh, and if you you'll see the hardware is all like a matte black which I think is absolutely divine and it looks really really good like it doesn't like the hardware doesn't take away from the piece itself and the zipper is really really smooth I was slightly concerned based on the contours that it might not be but it's absolutely smooth and the inside I believe is leather lined that's at least what the textile card said that it was leather lined so it's like a it looks like a black leather it kind of looks like canvas though but uh, don't quote me on that uh, but it's black on the inside it says made in France and I'm super stoked to have this as part of our collection and to be able to have like a really iconic piece that came out as part of this collection. My boyfriend and I were pretty, um, we were pretty sad that we couldn't get anything from the first wave that launched in July, I wanna say. Um, we were hoping to get some like duck pieces it was more of the small leather goods um, than it was like the handbags for us. Well, actually, we really liked the key ball too because I had the, that one really had the ice cream drip on it. But uh, we are super stoked to have this bear piece in our collection right now. It's perfect for carrying some credit cards. I have this like random, <laughs> it's like a action card for one of those like game places, kind of like a Dave and Buster's. But anyway. Uh, it's a credit card size, so you can see it fits really easily down inside of here. You can fit several of them. You can definitely carry a few credit cards and like earphones in here um, or also like use it as a catch-all for like bobby pins and hair ties, things like that. I will probably use it most to carry some credit cards when I'm out and, you know, have this hooked onto either a larger bag or just use this piece to carry it with me and um, my boyfriend likes to use it to put his earphones in while he's out and about uh, so that they're not all like unruly or just like shoved in his pocket. <laughs> I don't think I would use this to be like a makeup catch-all because I feel like 
uh, lipsticks and things like that are more 3D. They're a, they take up a lot more like volume and space. And this is a pretty thin piece. It's more like an envelope style. So um, I don't think too much would be able to fit um, if you were to put more like makeup bits in there. So more flat things. If you're someone who likes to, you know, get your receipts after you make purchases and you want to collect them somewhere, like you could put them in here. Um, or if you have other kind of imported documents or things that you need to carry with you, I think this would be great for that. The beautiful story of how this came into our collection is actually all thanks to YouTube. A wonderful subscriber of mine and dear friend, Julie, she lives in France and she let me know that she was heading into Paris to actually visit the Louis Vuitton store and she was aware that there was the LV squared pop-up. I don't know if you've seen on social media like the whole all yellow interior pop-up spaces uh, for this collection and so she said you know was there something that you were looking for because I think you mentioned you missed out and I was like you know it's totally fine you don't have to worry about like yeah like don't you don't have to worry about it uh, but she was like no just let me know and if it, you know I can always ask it doesn't hurt to ask so I said you know uh, the the duck coin purse or the bear coin purse were really the pieces that we wanted to get you know I guess it doesn't hurt to ask um, and lo and behold they had two left when she was there they had two bears left they didn't have any ducks but they had bears um, there were two left when she was there so she very very kindly uh, got it and shipped it over to me in the States so that we could have this piece as part of our collection. So thank you very much, Julie. I have already thanked her profusely, <laughs> but thank you, thank you so much. This was, you really didn't have to do that. I really appreciate that you went out of your way to help get this for us and uh, we ha are cherishing it beautifully in our collection and um, it's likely going to have a very long, cute life <laughs> with us um, and we'll forever remember this as the the Julie bear so I don't name my bags or anything like that but this is definitely now Julie bear just it just has to be so anyway that's the first piece that I have recently picked up before I move on to the larger piece right here I did want to mention there are a couple other pieces that we picked up from the LV squared collection my boyfriend and I stopped by the pop-up store in Soho where they had ducked it all out in yellow and everything like that. It was really, it's really beautiful actually to be in there and to be totally immersed in a color like that. I feel like it was very tastefully done. Um, but I shared those bits in my last video. I will link that video above so you can check it out as well and see what other pieces we picked up from that collection. But uh, we're really happy with the ones that we were able to get. Um, there might be one other piece that we are able to get. We're just waiting for it, it to trickle in. Um, but if it happens, it happens, and I'll definitely let you all know. But if not, I'm totally happy with the pieces we were able to get our hands on. Now for the last piece that's in this box right here. I think you can kind of tell by the shape um, and the little pull tab on the side that it is a shoe item. I'm super stoked about this, guys. I'm so excited. I already opened it because it got mailed to me, and I just wanted to check and make sure everything was fine um, but I'm super super stoked I am I am so ready for autumn and fall right now I and I'm I can't wait I these are just perfect for it so um, inside it's it is a shoe piece so I picked up ta -da! <laughs> these are the shearling slippers gosh they are so cute uh, I'm gonna take the little stuffing out of them so you can see them in their full glory. I mean, I left the stuffing so you can see the shape and you see that there's like a panel in the front, but the, this is what they look like. Oh my God, they're so cute and they're so, so, so fluffy. And the bottom is a rubber sole like this. Um, and then inside it pretty much has, you know, like the Birkenstock bottoms <laughs> pretty much. 
or if you think of any like rubber slide, it's pretty much like the rubber slide bottoms. But they're pretty weighty. They're not as light as like my Aloha sandals and they're not really as light as my Gucci slides either, my Gucci rubber slides. Um, so these, are, these have a nice weight to them. I am planning on only wearing these indoors, but I'm sure if you wanted to, you can wear them outside. And I'm super excited about these. Look at how cute they are. They have like um, uh, like a, one of those little LV flowers on each side. Like always, I'll leave more details of, uh, and like the names and things like that in the description box down below. I do have Instagram to blame for getting these. <laughs> um, because I saw, I first saw a picture of these in navy. I'm pretty sure they were navy. Um, and they were just so cute. They absolutely captivated my mind. And I reached out to our SA, our Louis Vuitton SA, who was like, um, let me do some more digging on those. And the next day or later that day, he was like, those literally came out yesterday. <laughs> They're called Bomb Dia, I think. And uh, my SA said, you know, we don't have the navy, but we have them in black and we have them in like the natural shearling color, like a cream kind of color. Yeah, I felt like the cream would get dirtier a lot faster and I also, I tend to wear a lot more black anyway, so I felt like these would be a nice color, a nice staple. I got them true to size. I am a woman's size eight and these are a 38. These are the latest addition to my collection. And you know me, I always have a story for how I came about getting these. Basically, why did I pick this style? Recently, Vuitton has been coming out with a ton of slippers, right? They have been coming out with all of those beautiful mink slippers. There's like that beautiful pink mink with the LV. It's a mo much more graphic LV with like a shadow on it. Uh, so it looks 3D. And they have that style in like a brown, I think there's a black, a gray. And then most recently when I went to the LV store boutique, let's see, in like July, um, their newer style had two bands, brown and a gray color. And they had a much smaller LV monogram kind of going through it. I tried those on. I tried on the gray ones. They were mink. They were absolutely divine like feeling on the feet, so soft, so comfortable, and really cute. And I liked that there were two bands on the top because I feel like um, they're more secure on your foot. They kind of flop a lot less. I was totally going to get them. I had them in my hands. I was waiting to check out. I was sitting there and then I just went, you know what? like something's not 100% right for me. And I was like, you know, I'm gonna think about these. First of all, it was the price tag. Those mink ones were like $2,000 USD before tax. It is because it's full mink. It's like mink on the top and mink on the footbed. It was also the way they did the design, they had to individually put in like the, the, the black uh, mink pieces. Uh, and combine it with the gray pieces or the brown, you know, whatever the base was. Part of it was the material and also it was a really intensive way to put that design on it. When I came home and I kept thinking about it, I really liked the slippers and I liked the idea of getting a pair of like these really fluffy slippers for home, especially given how much time I'm spending at home. But something was just not right. Like something was egging me a little wrong about that design. and. I, I figured it out. I'm going to try my best to try to find a picture, but on that style, I loved the intricacy of how the whole thing was put together. I totally understand it. But what I didn't understand was you you can see the LV pretty straightforward, but then there, there's like not enough space to put the full like fleur de lis around it, you know, the rest of the flower and the rest of the monogram design around it. So all you saw above the LV were like these random like black lines because it's like starting the design of, you know, what would be one of these flowers. And my mind just couldn't wrap around. I just couldn't, I was just like, why would you do that? I would just, like, I would have just kept it at just a row of, L, you know, just the LV bit on it then and not have the random lines in the top. I was just really, I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't jive with that. And like once I saw it, I was like, oh, it's, that's just really weird. Like I, now it just looks like it got dirty and like it's like a mark on there rather than it's an intentional design piece. And I, 
I'm, I, you know, and I was like, you, I mean, then you just explained how hard it is to put that whole panel of mink fur together. Like, why would you bother with the top part? <laughs> Either make the monogram smaller so you have enough space to put in like more of the design or make it bigger and get rid of some of the stuff that's not fully in there. Like, it just felt like extra, but really meaningless extra. Long story short, uh, I couldn't get along a, with the price tag of those, and B, with like that whole element of design. And then ever since, I started looking online to see if there were other slippers that I would like. Um, and I didn't know how I felt about um, mink slippers in general. Uh, they feel beautiful and they look beautiful, but like on the feet, I don't know if I need those, you know what I mean? And sometimes, let's be real, my feet get sweaty and it's like, do I really want mink fur bits like stuck to the bottom of my feet, you know? Um, so when I saw these online, I could already tell they didn't look like they were mink. They looked like they were either more of like a felted wool or shearling, and they turned out to be shearling. And so they basically feel like Ugg boots on your feet, you know what I mean? And they're so, so comfortable, and they're so soft. I'm super thrilled. I love this design. Like, look, it's so, like you fit the whole, flower on each side and an LV in the middle. Like nothing is awkwardly cut off. Nothing is like, seems like it was, you know, like an afterthought. Everything looks like it was designed for this shoe. So I'm super stoked about these. I think I talked about them for like 15 minutes, sorry. <laughs> I was super excited and I, I mean, in case you were looking for slippers, okay? Like I wanted to explain the difference, at least that went through my crazy brain on figuring out why I wanted to get these versus those. These are also like $1,000 cheaper, so, um, you know, that helps. Anyway, I'm super, super excited about these. Uh, you will probably be seeing these a lot on my Instagram now because I'll be wearing them. And we are also, you know, in fall, so like, oh my God, can you just imagine like cuddling up in these on the sofa with a blanket and my pillow? Like, I mean, not that that's, those are the only things that matter in life, but like, you know, we spend so much time at home now. Might as well make it really comfortable. I, I think I'm so excited about those because it like validates that I did the right thing and not getting the gray ones. I'm just like, oh, I didn't make an expensive mistake, you know? Now everything's empty. <laughs> but uh, those are the new pieces that I've added to my collection. I feel like after the, like after the most intense period of lockdown has ended that I have kind of gone a bit on a spree, <laughs> adding pieces to my collection. So I'm putting myself a bit on Van Island so that I, I make sure I, I thoroughly enjoy the pieces that I already have. But if you have any questions on any of these pieces or really anything at all, feel free to leave them down below or head on over to Instagram and I'd be happy to help however I can. If you like this video, you like haul videos or you just love LV as well, then please give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, Bye.